Hello and welcome to Omnis Technologies. My name is Ryan and as you can see, today we're going to be talking about Zoom and I've been using Zoom daily for a while now, but working from home, I've had to learn some new features that I wasn't familiar with until now and I just wanted to share those with you because using Zoom, uh, one of the biggest problems I have is just managing windows and seeing who's speaking and sharing their screens and it just seems really unpredictable to me and I've had a lot of trouble finding what I need to see. So I thought I would illustrate what the different views are and hopefully you can uh, learn how to see what you need to see when you need to see it. So I'll start off in our default view. I have two participants in this meeting. One is this video of me and one is just another one uh, logged into another computer. There's nobody actually there. It's just um, our Omnis Tech account. So from the default view, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when we share a screen. If I just pull up our website here and then this will take us to a minimized view. So um, we can drag this window anywhere we need it to go. Here's a few options where you can turn on the active speaker window and this will only show, uh, this will show whoever is speaking and it will change to the camera, change the camera to uh, the speaker or you can hide video altogether. We'll bring it back to our participant view here. Now if there's no sense in showing yourself there or if you just uh, prefer, you can hide that self view bring it back right there. Now to get out of the minimized view we're used to just going up and maybe clicking one of these uh, like we're normally doing a window but you actually have to come down to your uh, share controls. You notice there are some normal zoom controls and if we stop the share we're back to our normal default view. Now I'm going to uh, do a cut here and log into another account so you can so I can show you how it looks like when someone is sharing their screen with you. So just a minute. All right, I'm back and all I did was switch into my other account and share that screen. So this is what the view looks like when someone is sharing their screen with you. So there's a couple things here. The first thing I'll talk about is this side to side view. So if it doesn't look like this, just go up to the top view options, enable side to side mode. Um, so if it's disabled, it'll look like this and you'll see we still have our minimized view here. I prefer the side to side mode because I like that it's a little more flexible. So if you hover over the crease here, you'll be able to resize your participant videos. If you have a lot of participants or you just want the bigger window there, or if you're really trying to see what's on the screen, you can make the screen bigger and it'll, min it'll make these um, video views smaller compromise you can make is turning speaker view on at the top here and this will only show um, when someone is speaking and it'll zoom will be able to dynamically switch between cameras and show you and highlight the speaker but I prefer the gallery view so I can see the whole team at once and if you have depending on how many participants you have it helps to be able to change the size of the screen there so I hope that helps you navigate your next Zoom call. It's a, hopefully a little bit more predictable for you and you'll know what you're looking at and how to find what you need. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to us at, um, at techsupport at omnistech.com. Thanks for watching.